How's it going, folks? Hope you're all doing well on this amazing, amazing, beautiful day. We just kind of came out of the RGG uh, Summit and also the Like a Dragon Direct. And that was a very, very, very good Summit um, slash Direct. I left the, the showcase extremely excited, ex extremely happy. It was amazing. Had a good time. Um, the chat had a good time. Like, everybody just was really excited for um, what is about to, uh, well, what is about to come for us in uh, two months for Gaiden and four months for, like, a Dragon Infinite Wealth. Having said that, though, now, honestly, I considered making this video tomorrow just to kind of, let like, let the happiness and the excitement sink in for people, like, you know, let it all just kind of give people time to really enjoy and be happy about everything that we learned today but i remember that tomorrow i will be streaming potentially two streams so resident evil 4 separate ways and also uh, the capcom showcase so i was like okay i probably gotta make this now in one go probably with minimal editing i have a lot on my plate already so uh i figured you know what let me just record this and push it out so that people know uh Again, I apologize in advance. This is not to like put a damper on anyone's excitement, but this is something that we do need to talk about. And I think the more content creators also talk about this, the better. People need to know um, that, well, about to say it, Like a Dragon Infinite 12 might potentially uh, lock New Game Plus behind DLC. Which is very surprising for me because it's like... Come on, Sega, have we learned nothing from what happened with RGG7 or Yakuza Like a Dragon? Now, if you're un unfamiliar with the full context, um, Like a Dragon, uh, sorry, Yakuza Like a Dragon or Yakuza 7, whichever you prefer to call it, the Japanese release of that game initially planned to make New Game Plus DLC, right? Now, unfortunately, uh, the Japanese fan base had to deal with that. They did get New Game Plus as DLC as planned, though. For us, outside of Japan, we kind of got lucky, and because of the backlash, I still remember I made a video about it, people were talking about it. Thanks to, the, to that backlash, um, they, I think, I think it's because of that, I would like to think it was because of that. Uh, but because of that, um, Yakuza Like a Dragon came out with New Game Plus being already part of the base game, which I think is how it should be, because, well, I don't think this is really a secret to anybody, but uh, New Game Plus has always been a constant thing in the base game, in any Yakuza, you know, base game. It's it's always been part of the, the base game. I don't think it's something that should be kind of just cut and, like, made DLC that is very cheap. Um, we were talking about this during the stream, actually. Um, you know, the Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth will also cost $70, which I did say I don't even mind paying that because the Yakuza games, compared to other games, are pretty sizable. They're the kind of games you will like. You likely to spend a hundred hours in, at the very least, if you you know if you do the usual stuff with uh, what's there, what's available in these games. So aside from the story, which might take you twenty to thirty hours, there's all the side content, a lot of mini games, a lot of sub stories, uh, just a lot of things to do. So for for the average player, I think this might take maybe not a hundred hours for everybody, but I think for a lot of people. Like, easily, you could clock in 100 hours in a game like this. Especially with 8, they said that this is going to be the largest Yakuza game so far. So, I do think there will be a shit ton of content in that game. Now, having said that, um, $70 is one thing. Um, there's also a pre-order bonus, which gives you a couple of jobs. And I think, like, a quick level-up item pack, which, it's whatever. It's a pre-order bonus. Potentially, um, just if you pre-order the game, you get it. But then you have the new game plus DLC, which you can only get with the deluxe edition, and the deluxe edition is fifteen dollars more than the base uh, version, which is you know seventy. So eighty-five dollars gives you this kind of DLC pack that includes the well, this costumes stuff like that. But then there is new game plus, and again, this after all of the excitement that I've had today, hearing this really left a sour taste in my mouth. Now, this is not necessarily a problem for me, uh, contrary to popular belief. Oh, Devil Leon 7 is a fucking Yakuza shell. Like, oh, of course he won't talk smack about it. If you've been around long enough, you know that I criticize Yakuza where it's due. 
And this new game plus Fiasco is no different. I talked about it with the Japanese um, release of Yakuza 7. And I will talk about it again with uh, Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. Um, I think this is absolutely a, a dirty move. Um, th th this, like... I don't know. I, honestly, I don't even know if we're going to make enough of a difference at this point. But, you know, I'm doing what I can. Um, and I think people should also voice their concerns and, you know, talk about this. Um, and again, if creators as well join in, this would be, I think, a very, uh, you know, uh, this would be an outlet for us to, like, voice our concerns about this. Because it's it's just, I don't think I'm, I'm the only one in this. This just kind of leaves a sour taste in, in your mouth after all the excitement. Now, don't get me wrong. I think you can still be excited for a game, but also kind of, you know, want to criticize something like this, like an aspect that is kind of on the scummy side. Um, and also, I want people to understand something. Like, don't direct hatred or stuff like that towards RGG Studio or, you know, the developers who worked on the game. This is not their fault. They're just, their job is to just work on the game and do as they're told and that's it. This is mainly, I think, you know, about Sega and, you know, maybe it's like the... The people who are in charge of, like, you know, creating uh, decisions or making decisions about DLC and all that. Um, so, again, don't, like, I don't know, freaking go on Twitter and be like, Oh, RGG Studio, you all suck. It's not, I don't think it's their fault. Um, ultimately, they just have to do what they're told. And that's really all there is to it at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, again, I, I'm not gonna ed edit this video much. I don't think it needs it. Especially considering that I already have two videos coming. The reaction and also... Um, the uh, analysis slash discussion video, but I, again, I just want to convey this message. Uh, people should talk about this, uh, social media videos, um, whatever, just, you know, voice your concerns. Uh, this happened with the Yakuza 7. I really don't think it needs to happen again. New Game Plus has always been a standard thing in these games, even considering the fact that technically with the Yakuza Like a Dragon being an RPG game, they're, they might need to tweak more for New Game Plus, but still, I think that should be part of the base game. There's no excuse to make it uh, DLC. Not unless, like, I don't know, it comes with, like, this huge randomizer option or something like that that makes it really um, replayable, like, even more so. But still, like, just, <laughs> just, Sega, if you're watching this, respectfully, please, like, don't do any more of this. Um... You had people really excited until, you know, this piece of news came out. Oh, by the way, I'll be uh, leaving the source in the description if anyone wants to check that out. Curiously enough, that this piece of info is available on, I think, the Asian website of RGG at the moment. But not the, like, the US or the Western um, version of the website. But I think that's still kind of conclusive enough. Um, and, well, if, if I'm going to edit this video enough, you should see somewhere on the screen, something about the DLC by this point. Uh, but yeah, this is something that I wanted to talk about. I um, I hope we're all aware of something that, you know, should, like, we should be aware of this. And yeah, uh, that's all I want to say. I don't want to keep this, I don't want to, like, speak for more than I have to. Um, like a Dragon 8 is looking freaking amazing. I can't believe it's four months away. I'm gonna enjoy the hell out of that game, but, you know, New Game Plus DLC, come on, Sega. Um, you're better than this. Anyway, um, thank you all so much for watching this. You know, share this around to let people know. And yeah, that's that, that's really all there is to this video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.